I swear we start every episode on this screen of late. I'd prefer to do the medals in the episode I actually played the level in, but regardless of that, welcome back to Sonic 06 guys. So, I already did hard mode. Hard mode actually did have sort of an interesting thing. It's not worth showing, but it's worth commenting on. Um, Shadow, um, the Rouge section in Flame Core here, they made it so you could actually play through the thing as Shadow if you didn't want to switch to Rouge. They added invincibility, uh, <laughs> invincibility thingy so he could walk on the lava, and they added all chains of, like, the fire bats so he could homing attack up to the light core things, whatever you want to call them. So that was pretty interesting. Anyway, we've got three medals already, so let's get the rest. There we go. You just have to be in the middle to get that medal there right at the start here. Ah, uh, no wonder we missed this one, because it's, like, backwards, because I take that up path there with Shadow. Alright, let's see if I can't do this. Ah, uh, oh, that was so hard. No. <laughs> I'm only being, like, super sarcastic about this, because the guide's, like, making it out to be, like, you'll probably fall in the lava anyway. Like, yeah, right, I just did it perfect. Even that, look at that. See, I curved that homing attack perfect, so I didn't fall in the lava. Pro skills. So in this first area where we fight a lot of dudes, it looks like there's one in here somewhere. What am I? I'm in, like, the ground. Oh, I totally what weight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently, you can just go on the ground over here, and that's okay. And I can't actually get this box. There we go. And there was a metal in that box, so it's a good thing the homing attack worked. It's a quick rock. No, I'm <laughs> sinking. <laughs> oh, this game's really funny sometimes. What the? I just, like, homing attack through the door. Okay. <laughs> well, um... That's kind of convenient, because apparently there's one near here. Yep, right down here. Just, uh... Damn, I was kind of ho I was, <laughs> I was kind of hoping I'd get this, and then, like, homing attack onto the moving platform. That would have been sweet, but not this time. <laughs> well, at least I got that. Okay, yes, over... <laughs> All the way back, like, just when we got up here, there is a line of enemies here. I don't know if these guys were here before, or if they just spawned, but... Whatever, there's a medal, and, uh... I guess Shadow can go this way too. I actually thought he wouldn't, like, couldn't get up here, but I guess there was a mini way for him to go. And... And... No, we just die already. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, yeah, so... Just in the ruse section here, kill all the enemies on this first pillar area. Oh, nice, unique line of dialogue for a medal. Yes, very clever Rouge and game for hiding that. There's a few like that, so that one's not too unique, but like, they appear so little that it's still surprising when it happens. Especially since there's no indication, like, that you need to kill all those guys to, um, well, <laughs> make a medal spawn. It just kind of happens. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna jump down here and try to get the medal. This reminds me of that, um, thing in Bionic Commando you need to do. Um... Oh shit, there's so much fire, just slowly. Come on, just use your thing to stun them. Stun them good, so Silver can pick them up. Uh, I'm kinda stuck. Can I just, like, kill these guys? And then just, like, go past this? Yeah, that'll work. Um... Where is it? Just down... Oh, I'm shit! Hitting a thing made me not able to use the Chaos Spear anymore. Well, it's not like I'm going for that S rank, so it's time to kill myself in the... Can I fall through the... Come on, you can totally probably fall through the floor here. No. Well, I guess Shadow says no. Rouge. Right, this time I want to try something else. I just want to kind of just jump and guesstimate where the middle is. If I... If I use this, then I won't... Yeah. Oh, that worked way better. Just got past all that shit that could attack me. And that would be the 10th medal, and we have finished, and that's definitely no S rank, because I, like, literally just died right in the end. Excellent. I found a Chaos Emerald. Don't touch it! <laughs> Never gets old. Alright, skip, skip. I'll take care of this guy. So, as I said at the end of the last video, I am going to be fast-forwarding this boss fight because no way in hell am I making you guys sit through this tedious schlock. The only thing you really need to do different is when he jumps towards you. You need to make sure you are on the edge of one of the things when you go to the next one so Shadow's longer uh, homing attack is not a problem. So that just gets bypassed. Apart from that, it is literally the same fight. You do literally the exact same thing. Sonic equals Shadow. There's no difference, just like Pepsi and Coke. Well, actually, I can taste the difference between Pepsi and Coke because I am a Coke master. I go Team Coke. Team Pepsi sucks. Um, Alright, that was... uh. 
Good diversion. I'm still in this slow talking crap, and I haven't even damaged him yet. Oh my jeez, this boss fight. This boss fight is so boring. Look, even Shadow's board, he's like, oh, can you just get over here already so I can punch you in the eye, you stupid worm busted. The interesting thing about this boss fight, though, is that if you time, I'm not going to do it because it will cause us to lose our rings, which will cause us to lose our S rank. But uh, Shadow's longer homing attack makes him able to actually uh, homing attack to the glowy orb, so you can hit them without having to wait for the stalactites to fall, which actually makes him jump to them earlier, so then you need to jump back to him and homing attack him. And of course, you can jump back from the glowy ball, but you can't jump to it without getting hit. So I guess, I was going to say, I guess it's impossible to S rank like that, but with the less, like, you'll probably do it in half the time if you do it that way, so maybe you'll get with that extra time bonus, you won't need the rings. I don't know, oh shit. And I only just noticed that platform, like he dropped the platforms to the rock and I didn't even see. Great. I don't think I can even get over there, or I can try, this is gonna kill me though. Nah, I can't get over there. Shadow, Shadow has a good jump, but it is no... Well, fuck you then, you boss, you piece of shit. <laughs> okay, I've restarted the boss fight, because that was fun, and I've now hit him twice again. Huzzah. Of course, I still have half the boss fight to go, which is super annoying. In fact, now that I think about it, wouldn't it be better to just try to not pick up the rings until right near the end? Like, pick up one ring, so if you do get hit, it wouldn't be, like, the end of the world or anything? And, like, if you picked up all the rest of the rings at the end, 59 or whatever, would still be a good amount, like 58 or 57, still better than, like, 11, uh, which will not get us the S rank. But of course, I pretty didn't we last time we got everything like almost perfect and we still missed the S rank anyway. I think I got hit once and I lost like some of the rings, but not all of them. I don't exactly remember. And I'm sure I sound really stupid, by the way. Talking talking slow, then speeding it up later. Woohoo. You never know what the results are going to be. Am I talking too fast? Am I talking too slow? Is this guy not as tough as he looks? Because he looks pretty tough to me. Actually, no, that was a lie. I don't think he looks tough. He looks boring. He has a boring looking boss. He is Iblis. His intestines. <laughs> So that's why he's able to regenerate, because he feeds so much that, um, oh shit, oh, I had the camera angled downwards so I couldn't see. What's he dropping? Oh, okay, he's dropping the stuff, so now I just need to hit one of these sidewards ones. Dodge the meteors, and he's just gonna come in from that side. So at this point, we've pretty much won, unless he does something different in Shadow. It's coming. No, that is not the side you're meant to come in from, you stupid, you stupid. Whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> that's why you hang at the back, I suppose. Now, yeah, we won! Yes! What's our rank? And of course, our biggest reward here is the fact that we never have to fight this guy again. And that is indeed... Oof, only s Perfect. Only slightly in S rank. They really push it with that one, damn. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, as Sonic gets to go to the overworld after this, we do not. We have one extra level that, um, we have to do. Which, since I fast forward that, I'm assuming we're gonna have time for... Uh, and that, we've got cutscenes too, lots of cutscenes, um... Yeah, I suppose we'll watch the cutscenes. <laughs> oh, we've seen this one though, skip this. But we have not seen this part of it, what happens with Shadow when he stays. Man, get a load of this campfire, it's pretty great. <laughs> Bim, I want me some of that campfire. <laughs> Shadow. Shadow. Shadow? And he doesn't have a Chaos Emerald anymore. Agent Rouge, report your status immediately. Have you retrieved the Book of Darkness? Well, I'll provide a full report shortly. Right now, I have a priority situation to deal with. I need to contact E-123 Omega immediately. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that look she gives, that's so fall breaking. So yeah, we just literally go straight to Tropical Jungle, which is, um, you know, Shadow's buddy level, we play as Rouge. Now prepare yourselves, everyone, for the shortest level in the game, hands down. Can we beat it in under a minute? It's easily doable. And that's what I'm going to try to do, because there's basically two ways you can S-rank this. Just go straight for the finish as fast as possible, or you can get some crazy kills. Like, there is so many of, like, the fat robots. And you get, like, right at the start there, you can get, like, a radical of, like, 7,000 or some crap. But it's like, who needs that when you get a time bonus of, like, 
49,000 or some shit. Look at all those rings over there. Rings are for pings. Whatever a ping is, I don't know. Oh, you can't shoot me. Well, I just got rid of some of them. Uh oh, I'm gonna get hit by that. No, no, no. I need to keep my very small amount of rings. Oh, wait, who killed him? Wasn't me. <laughs> or was it? Dun, more dun dun dun. Wait. The firebox didn't kill him. So you just kill all those enemies? There goes the laser barrier. Wow. Damn. That level, though. I don't know how I got through that. That was just so long. And of course, it still has 10 medals we need to bloody go back for. What did you think of my beautiful technique? Well, it was actually pretty good. You got through a level that takes the other characters a very long time in, like, a minute. So, you're pretty great. Uh, <laughs> best Rouge, best character, 10 out of 10, would play as... Oh, he's just in the jungle doing robot things. I don't know. What's he doing here, though? This is a charming little place. Hi, long time no see. Rouge the Bat. One skipped explanation later. Situation understood. What would you like me to do? Take this and deliver it to Shadow. Oh, could you pick that up any slower? It's kind of interesting though, since a Chaos Emerald was brought back from the past, that means there's technically like eight Chaos Emeralds right now, two green ones. System reactivation countdown initiated. Backup power source. Spare magazines secured. Command program priority changed. New mission, shadow support. External access no longer permitted. Confirmed. I'm counting on you. So yeah, if you don't know what's going on, basically the idea is since he's a robot, he can like just outlive everyone and wait until the future. <laughs> and um, come back to the past. So again, there's basically two Omegas in the one time. So, decided to void your return ticket now, did you? Why are you here? Did you ruin this world? The answer is yes and no. Perhaps it's better to show you. Yes, that's you. After the world was devastated by Iblis's flames, what do you think happened? A search for the guilty. Who did this, you may ask? Humanity wasn't just jealous of your power, they feared it. They used this incident as an excuse to hunt you down. Come with me, Shadow. Let us punish this foolish world of humanity. It's only fair to give back what was intended for you. You have every right to want justice. That's absurd. How are you talking without a mouth? Whatever it is you want to do, you can do it alone. You forgive humanity this folly then? I determine my own destiny. Looks like Mephilus has taken his true form and we're in for a boss fight. I really do love that cutscene and how Shadow's like theme, I suppose it was, like picks up when he's like, hmm, Such foolishness. screw you, I'm doing my Very own thing. Well. Let's see if you can entertain me. Oh boy. Uh, we'll have to see this next time. Thanks for watching. See you there.